you'd represent not only NASCAR in the finals, but also the Bodine family and the Jeff Bodine bobsled challenge? Well, it'd be nice to represent the family for sure, and uh, of course everybody in NASCAR, but uh, Boris is, uh, he's going to be tough to beat. We're going to need a miracle run, but I had my crew chief over here working on it, and four of the guardsmen's polishing my runners, so uh, hopefully we got everything out of it. Well, in 1980, they had the miracle on ice. Let's see if Todd Bodine can pull off the miracle on the mountain. Jeff, last week we didn't see anybody playing with the runners or anything like that. Now these guys are focused. They're down to business. They're getting the National Guard to do their dirty work for them, but they're making sure that these runners are ready to go down the hill. Well, it's all about sliding down this hill again. You don't have any motors. You can't just smash the throttle wide open or anything like that. It's a matter of hitting your marks, being smooth, and maximizing what you can get with a sled as far as sliding is concerned and what Mother Nature will give you. So uh, all these things combined, we're going to find out right now whether or not Todd Bodine can hit his marks and unseat the king of the mountain so far. Boris said has been a tough guy to beat. This will be a great start, or needs to be a great start for Todd Bodine. And why you don't see the snow falling is that part of the racetrack is covered. It's not a bad start, 7.40, kind of marginal. Yeah, he's not as good as we've seen, but it'll be interesting to see what he does as far as he starts down the Devil's Highway again. That's where you're going to pick your speed up, so when you hit Shady, that's where I think you're going to be able to get the most speed, at least the top end of the course. Here they go through Shady 2 now. And that looked pretty smooth right through there. Pretty smooth, but you also saw the snow. Not hitting any of the walls. And Todd Bodine now is going to make his way through Bennett's Bend and down into the chicane. Just a little bit with the front end right there. Not too bad through the chicane. Again, pretty swift, pretty high right there, though. He can get off and get into Bennett's Bend. That's going to be the key. 17, 18 right through here. Let's see what he does. A 51-64. Now that, I think, is a good time. It's a very good time. And the most important part, three runs for Todd Bodine. Each one has gone faster and faster yet. So, again, not as quick as Boris said his run, but it's the kind of time that may force Boris to make a mistake. And Boris could possibly make a mistake. We saw him have a little problem in the chicane earlier today. And Todd Bodine, once again, going through the chicane, you can see, just a little bit on the left-hand side Clips there. that front end right there just a little bit, brushes the wall, loses a little speed right there. But look through 17 and 18. Comes through here really smooth. He didn't get up on the, uh, the runners, outside runners, and slammed the sled down with Rob's speed from it. So a very solid run for Todd Bodine. So Todd Bodine's time, a 51, a 64. Can Boris said beat that? Tim Pacman? Boris, we're here, ready to rock and roll. You saw what the time was to beat Todd Bodine. Yeah, I mean, that was a really good time you put down. Uh, I mean, I've been running pretty good, but, you know, you can't get overconfident in this sport because one mistake and you're done. So hopefully I can do the best I can for Whalen and the whole Bodine Bobsled Challenge. I, I definitely like to race Morgan in the final, so I'm going to do my best. All right, there's Boris said. Randy LaJoy's up here telling him, lay down one of those perfect Daytona qualifying runs like you do. Boris said at the top of the hill, he puts the face mask down, and he is all business at this point was given the President's Award at the dinner and auction uh, last weekend, the first President's Award awarded here in the Jeff Bodine Bobsled Challenge. Well, you know, understanding that his family has participated in the bobsled uh, uh, competition all the way back in the U.S. Olympics many moons ago, you might say, very good start right there for Morris. He understands if he can get a good start, that's where you start building momentum again as you go down the Devil's Highway and get through. Shady right there. Again, kind of low through there. He's got the nose down. Looks pretty fast. You better see what the segment times are looking like. Now, the last time Boris went down the hill, he got slower as he got to the bottom. And not literally, but he did. He's staying green. You look at the numbers on the right hand bottom of your screen, and you can see Boris still nine one hundredths of a second up, but a little bit of a little bit of rust. And through the chicane a little bit. So 17 and 18 are going to be clear if he wants to be able to advance. He is ahead of him right now. He's still ahead of Todd Bodine. Coming through there right at the moment. Let's see what he does. He goes to the top of the hill one more time. He is the man to beat here when it comes to Lake Placid and getting the job done in a bobsled. Boris said 51-53, but you see how close it was. He slowed down from his first run. You saw Todd Bodine up there in the box, and he said I was that close. Now watch him as he comes down here and gets into the chicane. Pretty smooth right through there. You see the sled get a little sideways. He didn't have it quite aimed like he wanted to, and he chased it just a little bit. It didn't hurt him too bad. Again, he was smooth enough not to get it so sideways that it robbed the speed that a lot of guys will do. So, again, that experience from all these runs down this mountain come into play. It'll be a replay of one year ago. Boris said is able to defeat Todd Bodine here in the NASCAR finals. And Ray Dunlap, you've caught up with him. 
Yep. Morris is coming down off of the mountain and uh, five for six, man. That's just an incredible record in any kind of racing. Well, it's not over yet. We still got to run Morgan in the final, so uh, you can't get overconfident in this sport because you make one little mistake near the top and you're done. But Todd put up a good number in the snow and uh, it was close. <laughs> All right, so I was at least respectable against the master here. <laughs> <laughs> you did okay, Onion. Okay, so Boris said, saying one more run to go, so I shouldn't give him the trophy just quite yet. Well, Boris said knows it's going to be tough. Morgan Lucas was so close last year. Todd Bodine, so close earlier today in the finals. It's going to be Boris said for NASCAR. Morgan Lucas for the NHRA. It's the third annual Chevy Jeff Bodine bobsled challenge from Lake Placid. You're watching it here on Sp